Hey, how are we doing out there? First things first, my name is Kenneth Bird. I'm the creator of Illuminous 4K Screen Paint using Ambulight Rejection, Technology Gain, times 5, 7, and 8. Now, we told you we we're going to be building and we're going to have a build, not build, but we we're going to have an ultra short though screen paint dedicated for ultra short though projectors because it's something that was requested through a couple of churches and some business deals we're working on if we could design a form of ultra short though screen paint. So, this is the Supreme 7. Ambient light rejection, ultra short though, short though, and laser screen paint. Now I've done this demonstration already on my Tatachi. If I'm saying that right, if I'm not, I do apologize. Uh, short though projector at 3,000 lumens. I did that demonstration. I'll post at the bottom of the comment section my Casio laser projector. Now this is a hybrid projector, DLP base, but it is laser and lead hybrid. All right, and also clears up the fact about lead. Now. Last time I did the demonstration, I did it on my Epson 460, but this just came in the mail. This right here is the other projector I told you I was ordering, which is an Epson 480. So over top of the screen, we have an Epson 460, as you can see right there. So Epson 460. Now these particular projectors have to be mounted this way. It's the only way you're going to be able to see the screen, where the 480 will allow you to be able to set the projector like a set top box and you'll be able to see your screen from there. So this is my other projector right here. Both of these projectors, this one's 26, I think it is 26, and this one over here is 3,000 lumens. All right, so this one already has HDMI port, which is good to go, and there it is right there, the Epson Powerlight 480 Ultra Short Though Projector, and here it is on our Ultra Short Though Screen Paint. So let me start the demonstration, so you can get an idea amazing the picture quality is going to look and keep in mind all the ambient light we have in the environment now at the bottom of the uh, in the description box I guess or the bottom of the comment section I will put several links one of those links will show the laser projector in action on this screen paint the other one will show the 460 or you've seen the 460 yeah we did a 460 which is over top and then you'll see the demonstration on the short throw projector and I'll show you from the angle gain like I said no matter where you set the projector at you're going to be able to pull up a beautiful bright image from the angle with no problem whatsoever one of the problems I hear a lot of complaints with when it comes to ultra short throw projectors is that they have a really hard time picking up an angle in a fully lit environment and unlike other screens if they have that light gray or they have that silver or have that black I'm sorry it's like can we go back they have that not black because black is what you need um, you have that uh, white or usually most ultra short throw setups I see are white with the boards you can draw on. But either white or that light gray, or sometimes some are silver. But with this technology, it's not a black, but it's kind of a really dark gray. It has a very interesting color code to it. You'll notice that when you paint it out, it's not your everyday gray technology. And we made it very dark because we wanted something that would pull up very good contrast levels. Because as I said before, contrast is everything. First time I had a screen literally with two ultra short though projectors attached to it. And so you got color pop, everything. It's gonna look fantastic on the screen. Throwing some deep blues. So this is why I wanted the 480 because the 480 having the ability to set it down, I would fill out most of the screen. Where this projector over top, I would have to push out a little bit more of a distance to get a bigger picture. Because these have to be mounted over top the screen, but this one can actually, you can mount it over top, or you can just set it down and just mount it, or just place it down, that mount or place it down. They're the perfect angle gain. This is fantastic if you're going to be using this for your church, if you're going to be using this for your business, if you're going to be using this for your home. These, it, this is a fantastic screen paint just for this application. Let's knock out our lights for those of you. I want to see this with the lights out. 
Now, if I can contact a merchant who sold me the projector, and if he has a few of these in stock, we will start marketing, maybe start marketing a, um, a short throw, ultra short throw package kit that will come uh, with the, um, will come with the uh, ultra short throw screen paint. Look how beautiful that looks. And that's on 3000 lumens, 720p. I think this is an XGA projector. about it hope you enjoyed the video demonstration I got much to do I got a lot of pictures to take um, on the new screen still got a lot more to go and I gotta start posting demonstrations up Now I already know that I'm going to get a lot of emails asking me about these particular projectors. Uh, I don't know how to pronounce them correctly, to be honest. They begin with an X, you know what I'm talking about. The um, Chinese projectors, ultra short throw projectors. I'm gonna explain this again, we do not support them. Our screen paint does not support them, we do not support them. So I'm sorry, but those projectors, like I said, we have a list. Of projectors at the bottom of our marketplace please check it out it shows the projectors our screen paint will support all right with that being said I hope you enjoyed the video demonstration push it up a little farther hope you enjoyed the video demonstration I'd like to thank you all for your time uh, the ultra short throw screen paint will be available um, Right after I get done taking, actually it's available now, but right after I get done taking the pictures and stuff, it'll be official. You get a chance to see what you're, I'm seeing here. We'll take the pictures, put them on the website, and I gotta do the containers and everything. So, like I said, a lot of work to be done. But thank you all for your time, for taking the time to watch the video. Sorry if I sound a mum a little bit. I am extremely tired. I've been up since four o'clock this morning. And I'm also, too, 
working on this right here. This is a new screen I'm working on. So I noticed in the shop, I don't have any screens to hit the floor and come all the way up to the, near the ceiling. So I'm gonna be building me this great big huge screen. I'm gonna be installing speakers in the back of it. It's gonna be cool, it's gonna be quite an incredible screen when I get done with it. And I may make this an ultra short though screen, a giant ultra short though screen. So I'm going to be, I'm gonna think about it. Yeah, I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna make this a giant ultra short throw screen. Might as well have some fun with it. Everything else I have in here is majority is long throw. But I'm gonna use this, I'm gonna turn this into a giant ultra short throw screen. All right, thank you all for your time. I have to go and God bless.